Hi and welcome to Astronical. Um, there was a request on the Heartbeat Monitor um, project I did a few weeks ago um, to add the beep sound. At the start of that video, which I'll put a link up now in the corner, at the start of that video uh, it starts off with the heartbeat sound, the beep, and then the dead tone when it's flatlined. <coughs> Excuse me. And in the actual video, I don't, um, or there's no code that makes the beep, there's no hardware that makes the beep. Um, because that was left, if you go to that to Extronical webpage, and there'll be a link in the description below to that project for the, for the ECG monitor, um, it was left as a, a sort of an additional task for um, anybody that was interested to do. Um, I'd only actually dub that on as the sound, I didn't actually do that originally in the project. Um, but I, did it, I set it as an, a, an additional task for them to do if they wanted to. Um, but anyway, it was requested if they could, if, if I could do the beep uh, sound on and add the code to that, so I did do. Um, so if you look on the screen now, bring it up, um, you can see that we've got um, an additional, uh, I could do it with a pointing stick really, but just one second. So we've got an additional um, piezo, piezo, how you pronounce it, sounder, just on a little plastic cup to give it a bit of volume. Um, we've got the heartbeat monitor. I mean, this is the old cord that's running at the moment. Um, you can see, it just as I'm putting a shadow over it there, it's just a knocking it, it's just to get a spurious result. Um, this is the old cord with no beat, but I've, I've connected up this PSO sign. They come with just two wires. It doesn't actually matter which wire goes to what, but I've put black so it's insensible to ground, and I put the red wire to um, pin D8 on this nano. Uh, that's the same on the Uno, it could be something else on the Mega, etc. You have to have a look it up, or the Leonardo. Um, and um, there's a code, let's bring back, uh, well, we've got the old code on screen now, which I'll bring back up. But if you go to the uh, Extronical website, and I'll bring that up, um, the Heartbeat Monitor uh, project is here. You just go to Basics and Heartbeat Sensor with ECG Display. And it's still the original write-up that I did with the original code that I've just uploaded to that particular uh, nano there. And then at the bottom, we come to Add an Piezo, uh, Piezo Buzzer. So the code that will allow you to dry that buzzer is here and quite simply whenever, um, I'm not quite sure why, oh yeah it's okay, ignore me, um, whenever a valid BPA, a valid beat per minute has been registered, all I do, where is the code, you see it, there it is, all I do, so if the beat is complete, so we've done a, we've got a registered beat and we calculate the BPM, so if it's seen a beat, we do this line here, tone, and I'll explain the numbers in a minute. Torn, 8,250. Um, Torn is an Arduino in part of a, an inbuilt Arduino lab. You don't have to go and download anything for the Torn to work. It'll just pull it in automatically. So it's Torn to make a beeping sound. And it's basically saying there, use um, digital pin 8. So 8 is why I've written that there, because I've connected up the uh, PSO buzzer to digital pin 8. Um, 1,000 is the... Um, frequency of the sound, so that's uh, in hertz, that's one kilohertz, so you can make a higher pitch sound if you make that number bigger, and a lower pitch if you make it lower, and this is the length of time in milliseconds to, to play it for, so a quarter of a second, again you could play with those numbers if you wanted to. So I'm going to copy that code, and you need to copy the code on my website, what you need to do is to go to this little copy icon here on the code, and then you just press Control C as it suggests, we'll bring back up the old code there, I'll just select all, delete it, and paste in the new put code, and press Control U. It'll wind you a minute about wanting to save that, which we're not going to. Press cancel, and it'll compile and it'll upload that. And as soon as it's finished uploading, we should hear a beep or two. So it's uploading now. It'll do an odd spurious beat, and it will do a spurious beat every now and again. These are very cheap sensors, they're okay, as I mentioned in the previous video, but they're not super accurate. So I'll put my finger on, we should get a beep coming through. I can just get my finger to lay steady. 
on the actual sensor. There we go. Not the strongest reading I've seen that sensor produce. It's getting better as I just relax. So we get the pleasing beep sound. I did try uh, adding something in case uh, for when it, you know the flat line, you take your sensor off and it goes flat line. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of spurious results from this sensor um, fluctuations. It, you, I did get something that kind of going with a flat line, a continuous tone, um, but due to the uh, spurious nature, it's hard to get it just be a nice even flat line. So I took that chord out. If you want to try and put some chord in to do a continuous beat for a flat line, then uh, please do so. Uh, but basically, in a real ECG, it's measuring the actual electrical activity of the heart with various um, sensors attached around your chest. This is just on your finger measuring basically blood flow for pulse. So it's basically a pulse sensor. Um, so it's hard to get it quite as accurate as they would be, obviously, in real life. Uh, but that's it for now. Hopefully, um, that's an easy add-on for anybody to do. And uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.